Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 544. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550, 544. We want to highlight rows with conditional formatting, and when we change the criteria, say, to B, we want the conditional formatting. So there's three things that, that have to be true for a row to be highlighted. Uh, end date. Be, it has to be between these two dates and for this column and then for this column it has to be equal to B. Alt O D and then Alt D for delete or delete right there. Click OK. Now conditional formatting you need a true false formula. Why don't we build the true false formula here first and I'm actually going to insert a column here so we have two columns because whatever formula true false formula we build in uh, conditional formatting dialog box which will store the formula in memory it's got to work in a range like this. So I'm going to build a formula and copy it over into this range just see if we can invent it three criteria, two of them are in this column, one of them in, are in this column. Equals, and there's three things, so we'll use the AND function. We can put as many logical tests as we want. We're going to put three. When all three come out true, the row will be highlighted. So the first thing is, is this date. And we're going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times, because we've got to lock it. Because when we copy it over here, just like it will be done in memory, both of these cells, to be highlighted, have to be looking at that date. But when we uh, copy it down, it needs to move to the next date. When that's greater than or equal to the begin date, F4 locked in all directions because all cells will have to uh, look at that one. Then this one, F4 three times when that's less than or equal to the end date. These are inclusive dates. Both of the end dates are included. F4 to lock that right there. Comma, and the final test will be this. Now, this also has to be locked because in essence, we're here and we need to drag it over here. So it needs to lock it. Look at this always in the row. So we F4 and lock the column reference, but not the row reference. In a second ago, I said in the row, which is true. Another way to say it is when it's copied across the columns, which then indicates that it needs to be locked. When that's equal to this B criteria right here, and we need to lock that F4 in all directions. Close parentheses, those are our three logical tests. Control Enter. I'm going to drag it over like this just to show that when we copy this in, uh, when we put this, well, that didn't, that didn't work because that means that must mean because if we're getting trues here and falses, I'm going to hit F2. Uh, we must I must have missed one of the cell references here. See, all of you guys are watching the video saying, hey, what do you, of course we can see there's, you guys are screaming at me. Hey, it's that one right there and I couldn't see it. I'm going to come up here. Now I still can't see it. Oh, right there. Boom. All right, control enter, copy it over, drag it down. That's just to see that we get um, some trues there, some trues there for the whole row. Now we can uh, copy this, scoop it out, control C, escape. And when you do conditional formatting, you got to high, whoops, got to highlight, control, shift, down, arrow, like that. <laughs> and the formula has to be built from the point of view of that formula, which we did right here, of that cell, which we did right here. Alt O D works in all versions. New rule, click here. In earlier versions, you point to the first text box and do is formula. Control V, and I'll do some formatting. Fill whatever you want, whatever the formatting is that you want. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And so now when I change this to A, we get the three criteria working to highlight only the records we're interested in. Now when we come back in our next video, we'll see three different methods to count these. All right, see you next trick.